The last thing I want to show you here is that life is sometimes tricky. So I've searched here for Pematic and I'm going to go to my tools. I'm making sure they are large because if they're not large, I really can't use them. And I have to make sure that's in a Creative Commons license. So now that I've selected these, let's look at this one right here. There's the picture. Now if I two finger click on it and get the image address, the one thing we always have to do is test to make sure that the, the link that we got, the website address, actually is the correct one and works. So anytime you copy the address, test it out. So I've created a new tab and I'm gonna paste it right here. Now that to me does not look like a large image. If I try to blow this up, it's going to be all pixelated. So when this happens, here's the trick of what you have to do. And again, if it's a large image, it should take up your entire screen. So that is not the right one. That's just a thumbnail. And you can look at the website address too. That does not look like a normal address. That is long and it doesn't start with HTTP or anything. So to do this one, what we actually have to do is click on it. And now you will see the picture in a website. And now if I two finger click and get my address and paste this in, look, now it's a normal address. It starts with HTTPS. They should always start with HTTP or HTTPS. And if I hit it, it's a full size one. So again, I first tested this by copying the image address. I pasted and found it was not a normal website address and it was tiny. So I knew I had to go to the website and get the image address from there instead. And now when I pasted that, that was the correct one. So that's the tricky thing you have to look out for when you're doing Google searches.